Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one on nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I will call the meeting to order. We have a quorum. I will take a motion to approve the agenda and the minutes. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I will recess the regular meeting and take a motion to open the budget, budget amendment hearing. A uh, motion to open the budget amendment hearing. And I'll second it. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are now in a public hearing. Is there any comments from the crowd? And I did I send you a copy of we talked about it before, but here's what yes. The I'm, main yeah. the main reason for you went through them. the roads, yeah. yeah. So do we need to repeat it, although you went through it? Yeah. Okay. It was posted. It was posted. Mm -hmm. Yep, it was in the newspaper and everything. Oh, yep. Recording. Recording. Sorry about that. Uh, do you have anybody on Zoom or any place? Um, <laughs> I guess, considering there is no questions or comments on this, I will take a motion to close the public hearing on the amendment. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Uh, we will stay in recess here until 8.30 when the regular meeting will start. And we have a resolution here on the budget amendment. It's resolution 2023-38 to amend the fiscal year 23-24 Worth County budget. That's 38? Yeah. That's what this says. Okay. We'll go with that. Yeah. 2038. 2023-38. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, where is resolution 2023-30 amends fiscal year 23-24 Worth County budget as was published in official county newspaper north of Anchor Manley Junction. Signal November 8th and November 9th, 2023 to authorize an amendment and appropriation of funds to the appropriate departments as specified. You guys... Jackie went through all of these before. I'm not going to go through them again. I will take a motion to approve resolution 2023-38. So moved. I will second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call votes, maybe. Aye. Stone. Aye. Lowered. Aye. Motion carries. It is duly adopted. Rich, you're up next. Looking at the, at the minutes, and it was an 8.30 call to order and an 8 a.m. budget. <laughs> Got you up to date in a hurry, didn't we? Yeah. So, keep you on your toes. Yeah, well, I didn't even pay attention to that either. Um, so we're looking at probably getting some, uh, we've got three hires we need to hire yet. I think I might send out offers for two this week. I got a couple more interviews I want to schedule two, and I know we're running against the line a little bit. Um, but I want to make sure we get good candidates and, and good hires. So probably be sending out calling today or whatever. Um, we tried to get, I think I told you guys a few weeks ago, we were trying to get a new boiler for Kensa and we were getting some more quotes. So we didn't get any more quotes in. So we're just going to go with what we got last time. And then we did get some roofing quotes. I wanted to kind of bring these to you guys' attention just because on that storage shed out here in the, in the, in the existing shop, we got several. Shingle quotes, steel quotes, take shingles off, put shingles on. And out of all of the quotes, I think um, we got BET roofing that gave us a quote for $19,612.38 for shingles and $20,200 for steel. I think I'm going to go with the steel and, uh, and have the next session. I should know we're in our third and be a little more than that. Yeah, yeah, well, some of them are a lot more, but I think maybe BET just got. Lower overhead and yeah, and that like close shingle to steel. I get close steel. So we're going to go ahead and um, go through us. 
Yeah. So, um, and then I kind of informed you on the projects closing out. We're trying to get a mint full of projects closed out. And then um, I do have on the agenda the annual or the biannual bridge inspection agreement to look at. I don't know if you guys had gotten to look at it or not. Yeah. Yes. Um, Rip through. We are also going to have to. I didn't read through all of it because a lot of it's standard, but I know there's more um, more analysis that needs to be done on our bridges this year. One thing we got to do is get the local fire departments to give us their weights on all their vehicles. So we got to start evaluating load postings for emergency vehicles too. Okay. It's going to get probably worse as we get going. I think I kind of maybe gave you guys a heads up weeks ago about how things just seem to progress. So I don't know what that does to emergency response. If we start saying the, 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 the fire trucks are posted for this bridge. And so now we've got more detours. How do we keep fixing bridges without having the money to fix them? I mean, right. when you look at it from a standpoint of they've been going over the bridges for years, the way they are, and I'm not saying that's good or bad, but They've been doing it now, and now if we got to start evaluating them for that, I, I don't know. We want to. Are you guys going to start evaluating your own trucks too? Then, well, that's that, that the other thing. Are they going to are they going to start doing that too? on some of them? On some of them, I mean, we're a, a regular tandem truck. That some of them we have to look at and say we can't go over them, and that's when the road foreman's got to. You know, it, yeah. it seems goofy to go all the way around the, the the section and have the have a pickup plow clean off a bridge deck, but I know in some cases we have to. But it just seems a little bit, you know, right. It, it really puts a burden on everybody. And like I said, we don't have all the funds we need to keep everything up. And and I get the the, the weights on the emergency vehicles and, and the other thing, but I just don't know how we can keep sustaining our structures when the legislature keeps adding more legal weights to everything. Right. I'm like, sooner or later, we just can't do it. Well, maybe they'll throw more funding at it when they realize that emergency vehicles can't get to where they need to go because bridges are that bad. Maybe. Emergency vehicles yeah, right. Oh, well, at any rate, right. um, the the uh, the not to exceed fee for the professional services for our 2024 bridge inspection is $33,400, including expenses. And I would recommend that we go ahead and get this approved so you can... Is there a motion to approve the professional service agreement between Rook County on Iowa and WHKS and company? So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. You want it? I'll take it. So then is the... Uh... Budget amendment that I submitted then is that been approved already then? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the check for the check will be in here. Okay, so I'll need to because it included the amendment to my DOT budget that had all the other numbers that were changed in there. So I'll have that submitted to the to my to my state the budget and then um, the payments. We'll start putting more payments out too because we've got two box culverts that are now complete. They want payment for those, and then the remainder of the paving projects will be done. So you'll see in the next week or so some more dollars spent through that. Yeah. And let me know when they are because we need to use that 1500 fund instead of your 0020. How does that work? The 1500 fund, I don't understand how that works. It's it's the actual fund, the capital fund for the project where the, where the money. From the loan, you transfer to secondary roads. No, um, that doesn't help me out. Here. No, but I put it in. Okay. Right. I, I put it in Department Twenty. It's just coming from a different fund. I, I think it'll still pull into your reports, and if it okay. doesn't, we'll we'll That's what we'll, I need to know. Okay. we'll jump over that. Well, we'll make sure they get paid. Is the biggest thing. Yeah. We'll figure out the fact that we're paperwork after. And it's your. It's all your numbers, other than the fifteen hundred. Because I needed it to show that I'm spending that money out of my budget. Is that still yeah. showing it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Got to show that. That's the biggest thing for me is if I'm amending it, and I've got to show it that's being spent. Some counties have taken it where the engineer's office would submit the pay request to the auditor. The auditor would pay out of a different fund, and then it wouldn't go through secondary roads as an expense. But I think it's sometimes cleaner if we just 
keep it through secondary roads and not have to. So but we need to keep it in a separate fund because it came from. You guys need to do it. Yeah. As long as it shows. That's what the auditor out. recommended. So. Well, we'll figure that out. Yeah. That's all I've got for you today. Any other questions you guys got for Rich? I think so. Thank well, you. Rich. Being on the agenda that I need to stick around for, and let him get busy on other things. Sure. No. Why oh, you can call me? No, I don't see anything. You guys have a happy Thanksgiving. You yeah, too. Me too. Uh, drainage. We got some warrants. Yeah, I'm sure, but I wanted to explain some stuff. And then we got that folder to go through. Yeah. We can do the one most of she gets here. I'll motion to approve the uh, stamp warrant straightage lanes. I have a motion and a second. Is there any other further discussion on that? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last week's. Um, Okay, Val, you've got some. Yes. So I've got Doug Meyer has two blowouts that need fixed. Uh, we've contacted Nick Dvorak, and he's going to go look at those. And then I had Dennis Meyer call in, and he's got two. And Colton talked to him on the phone. And then I contacted Nick to see if he could go look at those two and look at these two since they're kind of over in the same general so, section of the county. So. so you need a separate motion on each one of them? Or Probably just motion to like just approve that Nick fix them. There's a, we need a motion to fix the tiles in DD which two? Uh, DD 11 main F. I've got two of them. Yep. And then the other one? And that one's for Dennis. And then um dubs are in two different sections dd 11 48a and dd 34 lat 9 f1 we make a motion to approve the then make take care of the both of those all those yep yeah. i'll second that motion i have a motion a second is there any further discussion on that all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries and I just want to let you guys know Val's been doing a really good job of digging into those. She knows all the little laterals and everything, and good. she's been <laughs> keeping all the bills straight. Yep, that's awesome. We've noticed that. Thank you, Val. She does good. <clears throat> Even if it gets frustrating. <laughs> You got everything with BMW figured out. So I sent him three emails on Friday with concerns. Um, some of them I'm concerned with is um, I contacted him on September 19th and told him not to do DD10 because we were having the county go spray DD10, yep. uh, specifically Lat 9. And Mike had the rest of it and said it was fine. He had just a couple little ones here or there on the upper, but he said it was mainly Lat 9, or not Lat 9, Lat 8. Um, I got three bills from them for DD10. Uh, last seven, lat nine, which he said was clean, but charged us half hour each. Yep. And then he charged like 300 or something for the upper. So I'm guessing he drove them regardless. I mean, right. like the, on DD10 down there, for example, it was pretty clean, but he still took them roughly half. He probably charged a minimum of half hour just to basically look and make yep. sure he's not missing anything. It'd be my guess. I mean, but if somebody else sprayed it. Well, and we did send him an email. Yeah. yeah. Don't said know. don't do dd10 i remember that email coming through but to be honest to for me i would more. rather that he double check that in case mike missed something okay yeah. something would have maybe still showing up at that point a uh, three or two that he could have missed or didn't quite get enough but I'd still rather have him drive it that's my opinion and again that needs to be on his spray list next year 
the one over the Silver Lake that Mike did needs to be on the list next year. DD6. DD2 needs to be on the list next year. Mm -hmm. While well, we're at it, because they've yeah. already there's already stuff going back and drive by there. Yep. Yep. Crazy. The little, little stuff. So I think that needs to be hit hard. Are they done with that? Did yeah, I do? think they burned the trees actually. I yes, I talked to Tim yeah. and the DD2 is done. So I should be getting the final bill, the third installment. And I guess I think he did come in under the quote a little bit. So there will be a completion wow. hearing. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah so this separate will that. Or damages and all that yep. good stuff. Yeah. One other thing that we're under general drainage basically. I had a call from the landowner. In DD7, and we've got some beaver issues down there. Um, put them out in the spring, moved down farther south, made a bigger dam, and actually, there was actually water in somebody's field this fall. And, uh, hard to believe in a dry year, but they made a big dam. And his comment was he finally hired his own guy to come in there, and actually, he's supplementing him some, plus, he'll bring probably bring him into the county. But he suggested that we raise the beaver bounty to $100. And so that's something we should probably, I think, get on for an action item. And I mean, it still has to be in a drainage ditch, still has to go through the landowner. Or, well, know. and what the other thing I was going to ask is, are we going to get all the beavers if we aren't, if we are still just in drainage districts, or will we still have a problem? I, and I know that's you know, so there, that kind of opens up a can of worms. If you want to, be, to be honest, because yeah. Alfred Marsh, for example, if somebody wants to trap, is actually even though we don't have anything to do with it, we have a lot of drainage ditches and tiles that dump right into Elk Creek, mm -hmm. and it actually affects their full. So should we be paying for somebody goes through the effort to trap them? I don't know. It gets if that's drainage. I mean, yeah, we got to protect them because it's, it can easily affect drainage. You know, if they get those dams big enough, so. and some can affect our roads at some point. Possibly, yep. Secondary or, yes. Yeah, yeah, I just I don't know where to start and stop on that. Yeah, because I know we had one up a few years ago when I first started up there on Verdix that they built in their creek and it's not part of the drainage system, but it would have probably would have had to get really big before it affected the road, but I suppose it could have backed up and washed the culvert out. But Are you aware roads, of that one that we paid for anyway, even though it wasn't in a drainage I system? I think so. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So, but, it did one like that. but I think as long as the requ original request would come from the landowner mm -hmm. that says, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't need to go to you know, Elk Creek Marsh has a dam in it that's affecting my drainage, and I can't get a guy in here because nobody can strap beavers. But if you know, we put that little carrot out there plus what they get. So I think we need it for discussion under drainage next week to raise that bounty. I reached out to a couple counties around us just yeah. to kind of see what, and it, most counties feel like 40, 50. There are a couple that do more. It's just, I guess, and I'm not a public. And it's guy, so those counties have to work I, right now. Last I've mean, heard them been. Fur prices are terrible. No, yes. I mean, Casters are more than the, the pill. Oh, yeah. But they, you still got to trap them and then you always get somebody in here. The guys that trap just enjoy doing it, I yeah. think, versus the money and that's into it. You know, it's a hobby for them. But I think, so, you know, some of them are getting too old to well, do that's it the anymore. That's so not, if they don't, yeah. you know, if you don't entice somebody a little bit the day after. Mm -hmm. and, so we'd put the bounty on not just drainage ditches. We could extend we could, it. We could if, extend if it, it. Would, it would have, I think it needs to be affecting. It's still, the request to trap them should still come from the landowner. We can still should, leave that garbage in there somewhere. Yeah. Another. And it should probably be assessed either by drain, you guys guess for drainage or the engineer for. You know, at $500, it's tough to assess on a drainage district that covers 18,000 acres. But, you know. Yeah. But the key is to have the landowner. Absolutely. And have the Ask paperwork. And yeah. Yeah, the we got to stick with that. So yeah. people, we got to have something so they don't. Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I mean, personally, like I just, I mean, I, I got a farm that it's a private drainage. It's nothing to do with the county. We don't handle it at all. And we took them out ourselves. We didn't trap them. We stayed after them and they finally left. It's not saying they won't come back. Right. But in that situation, on that, that side of the road where my water goes, there's absolutely no company drainage system there. It's all privately owned by all of us in that area. So and that's that'd be our that'd be our dime to go after them and you know talk to the landowners, I think. But if it happens to affect the drainage district, then I think we should pay it. No, yeah, we definitely should. It's it's maintenance. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that causes an issue with the with the creek banks and with backing up and blowing out bigger tile. And, yeah. and it's probably something, you know, I mean, it, I know it's always hard to charge ahead of time, too, for these kind of things. Like when you do a big drainage project to keep a you know cushion in there, so you got something to pay for beaver damage and stuff. Yeah. It's You're tough. Just, I don't we just do don't it. do it anymore yeah, because it's... people complain that yeah. they're holding their money and 
and when we could use it as a big pot, it was different. But right. since we have to right. use right. each separate, it, it it's just easier to do stamp warrants right. and assess once a year. Yeah, well, we got somebody that knows what they're doing. We're getting it to where it should be fluent the next year too. It should be good. Nice it's somebody that wraps Good for you. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, put that. Okay. On. Anything else, Val? No, nope, that should be it. Just next Monday we got our two big meetings, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. and then we'll add that to the agenda for next week. Yeah. Yes, Evers. Okay, I'll do some more and see kind of what everyone else around us is also doing. But... Thank you. All right. Do we have claims? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We might need a sign to Motion. I didn't want you to go up the, all the way up the steps and me holler at you. I'm glad you're There's a motion to approve plan. the claims. Is there a second? I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Sorry. Opposed? Motion carries. Jim over to it. And here's for payroll. Okay. A motion to approve payroll claims. And I'll second it. Now you can take it. Okay. I have a motion and a second to approve the payroll right. claims. Is there any further step on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Oh, motion carries. Oh, that one's payroll. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other ones? Uh, and there was no liquor. Uh, uh, reports. I got oh, a report. You got a report. Yep. I'll take a motion. To, what, who's the report on here? Uh, oh, the auditor. No. Uh, oh, no, no. It's the clerk of court. He does that to us every time. I I'll take a motion to approve the report from so, the clerk of court. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And that's this puppy's just anywhere. Yep. No liquor, no payroll. Next one is. Oops, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sure. Thank you, AJ. <laughs> uh, it's 845, so let's do the 2023 city school election. Second canvas of votes. Okay, so basically what we have is we the abstracts. And then what we have is I'll basically just read off of those. And there's really nothing. This is the abstracts from each one of the counties. Yeah. So you just add all those together and you get to that. So we need it. So the um, director at large, Nancy Lund, received 320 votes between the um, four counties. Sean Arthur received 439, and there were two scattering for a total of 765 votes, and Sean Arthur won. For director district one, North B, Amber Nearing received 236. Joseph Rao received 285 and Joe Ryan received 220, scattering of one for 742 votes, and um, Joseph Rao won that one. Director District 2 South B, David Lutt received 257, Joshua Berman received 503, scattering was two for a total of 762 votes. Joshua won that one. Then public measure WQ, um, there were 560 yes votes. There were 206 no votes. So that measure will be passed. We'll sign all this fun stuff after we know. No, easy enough. We get the ball for the last thing. So then I have a resolution. Yeah. 
This is resolution 2023-39, certification of the multi-jurisdictional election results combined city school election. Do you want me to read the rest of that one? You guys got all on that. Oh, you just got the results. You just yeah. got the results. Yeah. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2023-39? So moved. I will second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? Roll call vote. Smeedy. Aye. Stone. Aye. Loberg. Aye. Motion carries. There's two spots for you to sign there. Anything else you got to do on election? Just sign stuff afterwards. Gotcha. Okay. Now we'll go back to. We kind of interrupted you. Was there? Was, was that oh, yeah. the next one? Oh, yeah. Always bees. Mm -hmm. And they always go up. Yeah. What's that? What is that? And that is our third party provider. Right. Yes. Um, the buy down fee is the current fee is seven dollars and fifty cents or one hundred fifty dollars monthly minimum. The renewal fee is going to eight, and the broker fee is two dollars and fifty cents, and that is going to stay the same at two dollars and fifty cents. Is there? Would you like to look at this? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve all these fees. I'll well, second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. that one. Uh, then we got an engagement letter with Northland Securities as the underwriter. Well, as you guys know, we've started the process again. Yep. We bought, bought stuff again, so we're going to have to find money for it. So, yeah. I'll motion to approve Northland Security. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. Um, we're down to water system improvement projects. I talked to Jason Petersburg this week and he was going to get back to the DNR because they had some questions about the wells out there. So he was going to get on, he was working on that and he was going to get on top of that. And then he was said he was getting close on the water and sewer rates. So I got up to date on that. Um, Gunworth Bechtel, Melissa, are you on? Yes, you are. Morning. 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 I am uh, working with Heartland Power and um, IDAG for a uh, survey for the interchange, and we're going to do one um, for the NAICS codes. So we'll see um, what entities would best be suited out there. Um, and then I went to the Alliance meeting last week, and we are going to work for on a regional housing conference. So that'll be in the spring. Okay. You guys got any questions for Melissa? No. Thank you, Melissa. If you have anything else. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You yep. too. Uh, EMS, continue discussion. Anything new on that? Do you have a meeting or anything? We yeah. have. We're, we're going to meet uh, next week. You know, so. Gotcha. There's one tonight. Um, okay. Appreciate Are you going to that one? Yes. All righty. Okay. Um, I would imagine everything's going good with Josh, out to people service. I haven't heard anything out of that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got out to he must have gotten the all the trustees. Oh, yeah. Brett didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. just, Dan, but... I got an email from him or a text from Andy Oswald. That's all I got. So, mm -hmm. anyway, sorry. Well, hopefully, that's okay. It's good posted. to bring it up, though. Yeah. Hopefully, it's posted. Yeah. I'll probably have to talk to him about getting those, getting all those people. Unless he got an email. Okay. Um, yeah, I got to talk to Heath. We just had some people with some uh, problems with uh, sanitary and stuff. 
uh, some communication problems, so I'll give you the call today. But I did talk with some people this weekend. It uh, took a long, long time to get some water tests, and I shouldn't. So. Remind him of those quotes he was going to give us on the equipment, too. Yeah. Yep, I'll do that. So I'm going to call him. Um, department head discussion. Anything you guys got? I would like to talk um, regarding the zoning thing. Okay. Um, there's a lot of things going up out, out in the country. I've been driving. Um, I did finally get a hold of Matt Duvet. I'm guessing maybe I had eight permits, and some of them were for ag, but nothing, you know, which is fine. Yeah. But how, what is the next step? If you guys have that zoning thing going on, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to manage it and watch everything. But if you've, if you pass that zoning thing for the whole county, and people are not getting a permit, because I, that one, I, I mean, I was looking to see if there was a permit, and there's not. No, and I'm sorry, I don't know. Consider to fall under ag and they don't really need it, but it's, I mean, it's still in the wrong place, that's regarding. So, you know, there's other things going on other than, you know, there's like Mark and I talked this morning about, you know, there's a lot of lines underneath in the road ditches now, and if people are digging too close, and that would be kind of a utility thing there. The it, it will exactly <laughs> it would fall under us, probably, but yeah, I mean, I. Just as a heads up, I don't know. Well, I don't know properly how to enforce it. Or, you know, well, like, you, I mean, I'm not sure how to enforce the thing. Yeah, yeah, because yourself. we have a problem. I'm in Heartland and they don't even get it. <laughs> well, unless you get somebody to start enforcing it, it's not going to happen. Right. And no, it's I mean, something somebody, we need a procedure. We need somebody well, to be watching. We, it's impossible it's, for one Because you gave him a grace off. period. You yeah. gave him a you grace period, grace period yeah. and I think it was a year ago, December, that that's it was supposed gone. to be. Yep. Well, and that's that's the thing. I guess if people see it, everybody should be watching for it. As see something, as say something? System. Yeah, as far as sure. the county employees, if you see it, I mean, you sh it should be checked on just to see if there is permits for that. If not, then then it should be, Matt should be contacting these people letting them know they need the permits. Yeah. Um, and if they're putting stuff too close, you know, if they're not following setbacks, there is some setbacks from property lines and stuff that you really... But well, even if there isn't a necessary permit in place, somebody says, okay, they're building a shed, for example, that you think is too close, to he should still go out and check on it and say, no, you cannot build in the county right away. You know, basically, that's what it looks well, like to me. Well, I mean, the utility companies are going to do it yeah, on their own, exactly. if they're notified. But, well, and then that goes to, do we need somebody actually in the county? Possibly, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those things where nobody knows about it. If the permit doesn't pop up, it just all of a sudden building shows up. Well, right. then is it too late? Do they? Because part of the building permit is how far away are you from property lines? Correct. Because you're supposed to be a certain setback just from property lines because of right. high lines and all stuff like stuff. that. And then, and we've I know the county's paid for buildings before because snow hits them because they're too close mm -hmm. to the road. So Which that's another right thing is why yeah. you know that should be set back a little further because of that snow hit. You know, if we're trying to clear the roads, it's you can't control it. But <laughs> so yeah, probably needs uh, well, the road came first. Right. Right. Well, well, just, the problem is, is who's going to monitor? The one this I know about. Well, like I said, <laughs> if, if anybody sees anything, you just have to. They just have the question has to get asked. Is there a permit for this? I mean, I I've been getting them in touch with Matt. Yeah, I give them Matt's number and let Matt know where it's at and what's going on. And yeah, and not many fees come in. I was a little afraid of that. With the one side. I mean, I can start jotting all these down, but Matt says he hasn't gotten very many. And and some of it is even in the original zoning. Right. Oh yeah. Township. The ones I'm and, dealing with is in Harlan. Sure yeah. And does there zoning. need to be some awareness? I mean, do we need to start putting up stuff on Facebook or something? And that Probably seems not. to be the only place. We got to get the education out there the quickest and gets out. Nobody good. reads the news. No. No, no offense, reason. Chris, but no. people don't tell you read what. The newspaper. Yeah, I shouldn't say this. Or don't read those parts of the you newspaper. Know, you've got fines in there. 
you do a few of them and that thing will, the word will spread fast. Right. Well, and you almost you you have, have to start. To enforce it. Yep, you right. have somebody that's going to enforce it. And you got to be consistent. See, my theory was that I thought Matt was doing that. Well, he should. That'd be his job. But, but you guys have to talk to him about but it. But if he doesn't know. Well, I mean, yeah. If we don't know that there's not permits. How can you? Yeah. You can't blame him because he, he doesn't, doesn't know what's going on. Right. Maybe it's something we just need to look at. Yeah. Well, and, and, and it, it took me about, about three to four months to even get his attention to give me the permits. I know you guys just said, yeah. you know, well, I notify him and, and yeah. it's yeah. like, no. And, and I not. can talk to him too if it's, if it's going to be too much. I mean, we should find somebody closer if that's more local. I He he took it on after Jane had passed. We didn't have right. a choice. We right. had some right. Right. Um, And so he kind of took it on from there as being Winnebago. Was, you know, so. And maybe time. talk to Winnebago too. Yeah, because I know they're not getting permits from him. Because I talked with Winnebago. Sure Because yeah. I said, what what is your happy place to where he will contact you? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I, nothing against Matt. You no. know, I I know. You know, he's yeah. just covering. But do you want to look into that, or all of us look into that and see if somebody would be interested in monitoring that? Right. Yeah. I mean. It's, yeah. And, we're paying Matt to do it so we could pay somebody else if there's somebody local that wants to do it. Yeah. Interpret. Interpret the the, Interpret. the zoning law that's there and then well, I mean, take care of the know. take care of the uh, permitting process. You have to have a contact person or somebody see something and then that person needs to go out and check. I mean you just check it is one to order when you get there, but you know, if it doesn't look right, you still need the person to yeah. check it. And also I I've, I've been in communication with Heath regarding the um septic. Updates. Um, yeah. And I, I've got a call in to a couple other offices, but just to let you know, if I I talked with Jackie a little bit, if there was something in agreement between each county and the state that things will get updated as they get sold, and they're not getting updated. And that's a public health. That that would be a well. I for I yeah. contacted public health, and they are not even going to touch it. So then but that's when it's I it's under them. It's a state law. So but that's why the, I called yes, the public health. Yes. And Heath is so going to give me a report services. because we have not gotten yeah. anything from people or people services in a while. Right. Um, there's just other quirks in that report that we used to get, and I. I mean, I don't. If if it says owner, it's the contractor. Is that legal? You can sell. You can sell. If he's yeah. like, if he's eighty years old. Yeah. You can okay. Still self do it. Yes, yeah, but it's and that's a that's a rule. If we want to change it, we could. But the county, you can still install your own. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it has to be. It's both there's some counties that have you have to be certified and started. Um, that's just right, right. You know, Floyd County is one of them. Uh, Mitchell is requiring that. Um, they're just you have to be certified to install. And do they get inspected, or is there yeah. some kind of report yeah, afterwards? Chris would have gone on in the past. Yeah, that's part of the and that's part of the like permit. There's supposed to be that's all supposed to be out there. Yeah, yeah because it says inspected, yes, and you know. No, I know. Yeah. Um, but the reason why I brought that up, and it kind of ties in with the permit thing, um, because that steel utility down by where my mom used to live does have a bathroom in it. Yeah. Well, there was no permit for the building. And I know there's a bathroom in it. So there should be a septic permit out. So so Heath is looking into that too, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm sure there's a farm shop still. I mean, it's yeah. not. It's not a. It's just a process that people just go through, and it's not. It's slid for too many years. It's not a huge thing. And in all honesty, mm -hmm. another thing, if we're going to get into that whole discussion too, is probably the cost of these permits. We are the cheapest county around. Yes. I pay double in Sargorda County, well, over double. Yeah, about double what we pay here. So we probably look at rate, that rate, 
to offset some of those. Right. And some zoning and that could go hand in hand. And hand. maybe that person, maybe you need to revamp the, to that person being different or right. having different job duties or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I could because that's what Mitchell does is zoning and sanitary and the same person. I just didn't want Worth County to no, get in trouble with it. the state. Yeah, we need to stay on it. Thank you. So, Thank you. Yeah, we can figure out how to find somebody that would be, you know, if Matt wants to do it, I think that's great. But on the other side of the coin, if he's got too much on his plate. Well, he lives west of Buffalo Center. He's clear mm -hmm. over on the other side of one of the other counties. That's a pretty good job for him to be running all over here. Over here. You know, and I can watch my small area, but that's yeah, and that's you know, the thing. You only see so much. You can only see so much. You know, I mean, until we get to this time of year, you can't see a lot of stuff. Yep, yeah, that's like I said. When the corn come out, and maybe, <laughs> there was the building. <laughs> maybe that's such a thing too. We need to talk with Rich about this. Maybe we get some signs. You know, a lot of these counties, every road, county blacktop road that comes into the county, and it says right on there, Mitchell County is zoned. Sarah Border County is zoned. We can, yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Up, see what that would take to. Put them on the sides that are already there, the, the signposts, right. and just another small sign that says where county is zone county. Well, and we have people on the roads. I mean, can, you know, like yeah. deputies or secondary roads be, I know, but I mean, if you, do, if you see, see something, yeah. you just say an address. Shoot and You do shoot an email. Out. Yeah. Big thing. Yeah, a little feedback goes a long ways. Yeah. Or there's somebody in 13 months that could drive around and. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, maybe somebody in this room, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay, there you go. that's all I got. Thank you. That's what you should Anybody have. else got anything out there? Is there anything on? Chris Kenison said, Let me know if we can get awareness of zoning permits in a more visible parts of the paper where that would be news items or advertising or both. Uh, well, it was probably it couldn't hurt to, when you did it. Yeah, he said it couldn't hurt to remind people of a new process. Let's see what this one Peter says. Teresa, the recorder said, Sam mentioned last week we got our data back to the eve of the 7th, and I recreated the days of the 8th and 9th when I came in on 11 10. I spent a day getting things caught up. We are up and working and waiting to see when next attempts with update slash import is with Tyler. Happy Thanksgiving to all. That's chance. It doesn't I, disappear again. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just that's on there. So, all right. I guess we'll move on to Supervisor Weekly. What did you have, AJ? Nothing. What you mark? Just a discussion with Bob Beaver. So, <laughs> ah, I had partners for children. We of course went through the financials and being in the first quarter here, there isn't much. And then they talked a little bit about the state realignment, and I guess the state's still working on that big time, trying to get. They really didn't have any answers there. I had uh, North Iowa Children's Alliance, and there we went through the financials again. And then one of the things that we had a report on was. Sarah Gordo is on their own doing a local child care workforce initiative because of the lack of child care facilities in Sarah Gordo County. And I thought, you know, we've run it, everybody's run into that problem. So that was the kind of the big emphasis of that. A lot of that was talked about at that meeting. So other than that, that's all I had. Um, next week, other than what you're going to add there for beavers, anything else you guys want to add that? It's no. a fun drainage day. Oh, oh yes. Did um, beans your stock in a drainage? Can I ask something? Or you don't allow that anymore? Well, we don't allow no, that. Never, never no. really was allowed. But... One of us can chat with you as soon as we're done. Yeah. Like, no. yeah. Otherwise, it's noon to Thursday before. To get on the agenda. Yeah, that's why. Right. In writing. Yeah. Always one of us can chat with you on the hall when we're done. So that yeah. for you. That's uh -oh. okay. Uh, we probably should change that and probably have a small period at the end of these meetings for a little input. But as but of right now, we have, 
Yeah. It's still no discussion. Supervisor yeah. District 2 meeting, who's going to that? Uh, and did we send in fees? I am going to the District 2 supervisors meeting in Charles City along with you. Yeah. And you're going to Winnebago. And you sent in the fees yes. for me, I know. Did you send them for him? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look. I know I dropped mine off up there, so check it. Well, okay. check for both of us. Okay. I think I might have done that. Oh, okay. There's a fees like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it showed up on the on the on the report. So I got that right on who's going where, what. Yeah, I'll yep. check right after the meeting. And then the December first with the drainage in Fort Dodge, I'm going to that. And you've already sent those fees in, right? Mm -hmm. so yep. Are you going to that, AJ? I don't know. Did you? Did, did you, you turn? Did you turn? Did you turn in this thing? This no, is no. still there. I never did. There, there it is, right there. You guys got to cover that. <laughs> you guys got to cover that. Torbert, Torbert no. kept sending emails, reminding you. No, we haven't sent yours in. <laughs> you guys got so. to cover. It. I'll say, I'll save the county a few bucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anything else on there? Nope. Try to keep adding stuff as we go. Sure. Gotcha. Uh, in that case, then I will take a motion to adjourn. The move. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.